Hey guys, so it's here bringing you a, another video. Welcome back to uh, Unranked to Master. Sorry, my mind is a bit blah. Uh, we're playing Rakan today. This was donated by um, Madden101. Very quickly bringing up the doodah. It's a high diamond, a little bit of master game. The Zach was challenger last season. The, the Lulu was challenger last season. And he, he's a lane Zach, by the way. So it's a bit... It's a bit cheesy. He's got 2.4 million mastery points on Zach, which is a little bit mad. Let's change that to season 11 stats. Uh, and I'll also, while we're looking at this, I will get to moving. Um, a one trick Evelyn, not playing Evelyn, by the way, but still has got 100 games of a Moo Moo, so it's not too bad. I'd say the enemy team has got advantage, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so I will say I am recording this on duh. I'm recording this on day two of my test positive result of you know what. Um, I'm feeling a little bit worse than I was yesterday. So just to say, like I'm, I'm trying my best. Um, I'm just aching a lot, like a lot. So that's kind of my main thing. I'm just aching. All right, we have Talon Jungle that's not running the Ignite. Oh. We're just letting this happen. Goodbye, Amumu. We got red buff. We got the kill. Get wrecked, enemy team. Okay. I was pretty confident she'd beat him. All right. They kind of got wrecked. Me surviving the initial engage was huge. Enemy team just played it like really badly. <laughs> so that was a move. Wait, a Mumu jungle. Wait, what? I for some reason I thought it was a Mumu support. So that Mumu has completely screwed himself. Why would you also invade with an Mumu? Again, EU Northeast high rating is something special. We'll just say that. Because like that was really dumb. He took Q level 1 as an Amumu jungle as well. Rip his clear. These talk a lot. He's, uh, Talon should be able to absolutely obliterate this Amumu now. It's a one trick Evelyn, so maybe they're just not very good at Amumu. That would also kind of make sense. I'm wearing a hat. Oh yeah, so why am I wearing a hat? I'm wearing a hat. He's just so aggressive on a Mumu. He's dead again. I'm wearing a hat because obviously me being mainly stuck in my room. Uh, I'm a bit sweaty. I haven't had a shower yet this morning. I'm going to shower after my stream. So just uh, my hair probably looks really bad. Um, I'm not shaving as well. So later in the week in videos, I'm not on camera. Again, while I'm positive for you know what, I'm probably not going to be looking my best. Maybe unsurprisingly. Yeah, the Ev the Amumu's like really muck mucking up the, the game for the enemy team. The thing that they've got going for them, they're both early and late game. In the fact that they've got a Kale. But then Draven's going to fall off a cliff. Oh my god, that missed. For 24 biddies from Almighty, thank you very much. So yeah, it's top lane Zac. He's like a one trick who plays top lane Zac. No idea why.
You played that alright. That timing of a Moo Moo gank, man. Oh, Talon. Oh, you such a pleb, Talon. Unless he gets the double kill, but he's used his engage. Alright, that's fine. It's worth that he got the double kill. I just thought he was going to let a Moo Moo live. Oh, let's go, Zerath, bud. Oh, that was a really bad stun. I don't want to take it. There you go. How does Zaya scale? A lot better than Draven. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden and his name is Wiggly Woo. Nice. <sighs> Ooh. Yeah, wiggly who? Wiggly woo. The Zaya team is pretty competent, by the way, so I'm happy with my partnership with the Zaya so far. I really don't get why you play Zack top. I don't get it. Like, arguably, most of that strength of top lane Zack is going to be because people don't know what it does in top lane. Therefore, they're not going to take it seriously, and therefore. They underestimate it, therefore then they lose fights. It's not probably that strong in itself. Yeah, is he mega roaming? I have I have seen a Zac top lane once before, and it basically ignored top lane. Okay, he's back. Like it basically just started mega roaming eventually. And it was like, oh right. So Trundle got caught under tower. That was really bad by Trundle. Also, Jurassic World Evolution 2 is coming out next week, by the way, everybody. So, I will be playing a lot of League on stream, as much as I can. But if I am feeling a bit rough, obviously playing other games will also be a good idea. And we've got Forza Horizon, and then, like, Forza Horizon 5 coming out in a few days. And then we have, um... Um, it would have been great if our ranged artillery mage actually came. Wow, that was really bad by Zerath. Oof. Uh, no, I don't have a code for Secret Lab stuff. You just click the link and buy a chair through my link and I'll get credit for it. Would recommend. They're really good. Yeah, the Zai is good. That was just five people bot lane. It, it was four of us, I think. Yeah. Hey, Ashes. We gotta go. What the hell? You got to say. Why are they control warding here? Why is this era so bad? Is she really not dead? Nope. Oh, wow. Ooh, nice Jay Cook. You know, one of the missions that I've been actually given um, while I'm kind of ill is uh, I'm, I'm car hunting a little bit for Queen Pleb just to see what we could get her. Um... So that's been fun because I love car shopping.
No, I'm not buying Queen Flip a car. No, 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 no. She's getting her own car, but I'm a car person and she's not a car person. So. If they're really in wanting to clear that vision, yeah, Mumu's coming bot lane for sure. It just makes sense. Is that Zaya's? Uh... You used to be able to tell when you click on a ward, it used to have the owner, but they've got rid of that for some reason. I think Amumu is in lane. Uh, the new TFT set of me being live right now should be tomorrow. Oh, he's there, okay. Hmm. Zerus actually moving now. Oh. Hey, Mr. Meaty Chunks. I'm thinking Trundle should be pretty good against that, no? Like, Zack, because he'll kill him quite easy eventually when he has his um, mythic and he ults him. Like, in a, I, Trundle... Ult him. Ult him right now. Okay, it was a bit late ult. Yeah, Trundle's played that fight really poorly. He needs to ult earlier. And that's my point, is Zack top is terrible. The strength of it is literally people not knowing what the hell Zack top does. Okay, I'd like to kill them in bot lane. Le double. Nice. We're not doing dragon. Oh, rift. Like, I'm half expecting Zack to jump, by the way, here. It would not surprise me if we see him. Why did he jump over that? Is that going tank? Yeah, he should be going tank. We're basing apart. Bruh. <laughs> Trundle's like, guys, why aren't you basing together? Oh, that's funny. Alright, nice. That was good. Oh. I, by the way, I wanted to play mid, uh, but I got given support this game, by the way. Um, I do think support's a good idea when I'm not feeling well, but um, I still am going to play mid. If I can. Quite bad for a Draven to lose lane, though. Hey, Flying Grim. Doing alright. Just aching. What's the synergy between Zyra Khan? So when she presses W and auto attacks feathers, Rakan also auto, -attack, auto attacks feathers out. And then when we base, 
um, you one of one of the champions can start basing, and then the other champion just needs to press B, and you base like instantly, basically, like you base together. Lol, that Zach mucked that up. Oh, he's not dead. Wow. Nice. Look at top lane, by the way. <laughs> What's happening up there? You need to commit to stop it. Pillar, pillar, pillar! Alright, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Wait, legendary? Oh, our talent's 8 and 0. Again, I still don't really know why. I really don't like. Why did no one take the kill? <laughs> yeah, enemy team, like, they're just not playing great. And they have a Zac top, so their comp's going to be a bit odd. Yeah, that KLTP was unfortunate for her. <laughs> this trundle loves tanking tower. Oh, nice. He died. Apparently, I go tech chem tank second. Sure. See that component, I guess. Oh, actually, chem tank's gonna be quite good because it's like a Zack and stuff. Zack took that kill from Draven. That's not good. Why would you take it? I'm going now. Tell everybody I'm on my way. Oh, that is so unlucky spawn. Oh wait, okay, he didn't even need it. New friends and new places to see. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm helping. Oh god. Oh Mother Teresa. Yeah, was that a shutdown that Zack took? He did. Zack took a shutdown away from the Draven. <laughs> it's not like Draven players are going to rage when someone takes their kill. Nope, I've never seen that. Nope, never, never seen that at all. Do I commit for it? Nah, we're too far away. Yeah, I don't like Talon Jungle. It just, I don't know. It just, it feels like proper cheesy to me. But I guess that's what Riot's done to the meta. One thing I would say I haven't done great on Rakan this game is not auto attack a lot when I've got Zaya W. How did that Q miss? What? The enemy team is very low range. They're like a proper engage comp. They're completely useless out of like a short range. I'm the same level as a Moo Moo. Hmm. That's not good for him. Alright, there's all five around the Baron for the enemy team. If they warded that, I'm gonna go get wards.
The Talon's waiting off to the, the side in case someone went for the Zaya. Zach's mid. So Trundle should be pretty strong now, but he's not had a great game. Ah! That Zerath aim was oh, very off. How is that Kale not dead? I missed the W, but it's fine. We'll ace them. Te well, a unofficial ace. I'd rather me die and they get the kill. It's fine. All right. It's Amumu 2 and 8. Like, to be honest, I think the Amumu has just completely mucked up the game for the enemy team. Like, they're a one-trick Evelyn. So, yeah, 904 games of Evelyn and 127 of Amumu. But they've only been playing Amumu recently. It's like they've given up playing Evelyn, or maybe they got bored, because some one tricks do. I'm gonna wait. You, you can know these <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. They've got actually a lot of healing, by the way. Kale heals, Zack heals, Draven heals. Yeah. I think this is a good purchase and it allows my team to not have to go for it. Annoyingly, Zaya did actually go for a Mortal Reminder. I know it's a good item, but she probably could have got an Infinity Edge instead or something. Or Essence Reaver. What? That was a really bad... Oh, okay. I didn't expect for me to get bursted, but they chose to burst me. Damn. That was a really bad Amumu ult as well. Oh, these stuns. Really haven't seen uh, the Xerath land stuns this game. Has to be said. Well, that wasn't good. Do we do our oxygen levels? No, nah, we're all right. It, I don't need none of us are. Oh, but my dad tested positive, uh, negative. Sorry today, everyone. So if you wanted a bit of an update, he's now negative. Wait, what? She should never be dying to a Draven at this stage of the game. That ain't good. It's a revolution. And it's a good time. Mm-hmm. Oh, the enemy team are just mega grouping twenty four seven. Zareth. Y no bueno. I am not blind to any Don't leave nothing. Bring it all.
me because I'm beautiful? It means sex. They're going to get impatient and walk here, I can guarantee it. Hello, Zach. Oh, buddy. So Zach's basically playing this game like a fiddlesticks. Who is that gorgeous Pretty much. Did I really not get there? Wait, why aren't you guys actually fighting? Hello? Our two carries just ran away completely. We cannot win fights if our two damage dealers just run away and don't do any damage. Oh dear. It's like neither of them have got any confidence. Ew. Uh, uh. There we go. We're winning this fight like slowly but surely. Talon killed the Amumu, which is good. Work together and you win. There you go. Wow, that Draven. He still got the kill. What? That was not great play, but... We'll take it. Oh, it was Talon! He killed a Moomoo and he killed Zack. Well, that's Baron. This Talon is doing well. Zaya had R. Oh my god, she actually did have R. Yeah, I don't know what happened in that last fight, but these two just played so wimpy. It's very weird. Uh, Talon? Okay. <laughs> I was like, what's he doing? Killing, apparently. He's doing the killing. Nice, we all got Baron for that. Yeah, you just did a bit of healing off Lulu, just casual healing. It's like, yep, yeah, thank you. That's what I needed. Draven got Lulu and Kale altered. Yeah, but like if Zerath, I know this Zerath has hardly hit any stuns, but like all it needed was a, Z a stun or a Zaya root, and boom, the Draven would have died. Like he would have got CC during his invulnerability, and then he would have turned to die. So uh, it was just quite poorly played. Both of them went wimpy when both of them needed to just go a little bit aggressive. Hello, Zach. This Zach is really predictable. Zaya's going back. Not great timing, that must be said. <laughs> That's better. That Lulu mucked up. There's no enemy in here. Huh. I saw you. Everyone can see you. Just go for it, killer. Nice pressure. Pressure. Turning down on me. Okay. This Amuma really likes ulting me, apparently. But they're wasting a lot of spells on a not a carry, so we should be winning these fights, technically. God, I, I don't know if I've seen this Zerath hit a stun. Genuinely don't know. Nice. Oh, does he have any burn? No. Right, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm always in the front, so it makes sense. It's just really weird that Amumu is kind of wasting his ult on me. 
Like, he hit Zaya there, I think, but she was right on the edge, so she didn't really get affected that badly. Get another really bad stun. Support is an easy role. Eh, you probably think that if you're not, like, if I'm not trying to be offensive or anything, but you're probably not great at the game if you think it supports an easy role. You probably are, like, I'd say relatively new to the game, and you haven't experienced support at a high level. Because that's generally, like, the new player's opinion about support. So a pick at this stage of the game on any of their team is really good. Gives you number advantage. Mechanically, it's the easiest. I'd say AD carry is mechanically the easiest role. Hey, Dice, say hi. Trying to do too much alone. Nice pillar. This a moo moo. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, no, I'd say mechanically, AD carry is definitely the easiest role in the game. After you kind of work out how to like attack move, you've got mainly the role down. Do, 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 do. Hey, nice jelly bean. Oh. Did anyone in watching live get one of those interactive ads? I don't know why, but it pops up on my screen. Yeah, you should be attack moving on every roll, true, but it's especially important on AD carry. Damn it. But yeah, if you get if uh, non if you're not a sub, um, and you get one of them interactive ads, if you vote on what the question is, I actually get bits depending how many votes we get. It's kind of crazy. What are you doing? Hey, Spike Town. I'm doing all right. I'm hanging in there. Just very achy is all. So they're going to go do Baron while we do Dragon, I guess. And then we'll meet them at Baron. Well, rating is his account. Uh, it's mid-diamond one at the moment. We've done two master promos and failed both of them. We've not been... We've not had the best luck when it comes to master promo so far. <laughs> They have to go deal with their base very soon. Is he going to waste his ulti again? Why did that fight feel like we were in a 4v5? Zayad does not press ult. Like, at all. Jeez. It's like one of the big parts of that champion's mechanic. She doesn't press R. Ah! 
Zaya got caught. Oh, is that how that fight happened? Well, they get Baron. We could easily lose this game, by the way. Winions did get a Nexus Tower. But, I don't know. It feels like Trundle should be stronger at this part of the game, but he's definitely not. Talon as an assassin isn't great in grouping fights. And, I don't know. I haven't been too impressed with the Zera. And, uh, the Zera, sorry. And the Zaya. I don't know. She ain't doing great. <sighs> yeah, Draven's level 18, Zaya's only level 16, so needs a bit of XP. You feel their late is better? In some avenues it is, but in some it really isn't. Like, if Zerath was being effective as Zerath and poking them down before a fight, they'd get wrecked, but he's not. And Zaya should definitely be stronger than Draven, but he's not. What the hell? That missed. Really? Okay. They're gonna have all in Hibs back. Oh, happy birthday, dude. Happy birthday, unexpected route. Really bad by the Zerath. It's hard to have this game with these two carries. Like, Zaya can't be pinging Zerath. She's died several times without using ult. He had flash, by the way, and didn't flash. Oh, what is up with these two carries? If one of them was having an off game, it might be okay, but they're both having an off game. Under pressure. Minute until dragon. It's that the elder dragon's gonna make or break the game for either team, basically. Hey, Thomas Loves Gaming. How you doing, buddy? Uh, yeah, I've seen the anime Ragnarok. I'm not. I don't read manga. But yeah, no, I enjoyed the first season of that show. It was good. Less than a minute till the dragon. Should we just go in a bush and hope for a pick? I'm XP starved. Yeah, oh yeah. Not, but I'd rather my team get XP than me. It's not going to make a big difference, me being higher level, to be honest, compared to my team. So I've been purposely not taking XP. Because <laughs> we need Zaya to match the Draven in level 18. Nice. Do damage, do damage, do damage, do damage. Nice. That's fine. Okay, we win the fight.
Nice pillar. And stun. He hit one. There you go, GG. We win. Played that fight way better. Enemy team was completely split. And they couldn't use their kind of like wombo. That was lovely. There you go. That's all we needed to do, I guess. That's <laughs> all we needed to do. And by the way, I was the only one that died. And yeah, Zayed didn't ult again, by the way. Someone in chat, Leviathan, just said, You're convinced that Zayed doesn't have R on her keyboard. <laughs> she really didn't ult much this game. Really, uh... But that, that right there in that fight is a great example of when newer players, they always go, Why are you focusing tanks? It's like a really common thing. Sometimes that's actually how you win games, is you break the tank open... And then they just fall apart. In that game, that last fight, sorry, we killed a Moo Moo and Zack first. So, like, focusing the tanks isn't actually sometimes a bad thing to do. So there we go. Uh, I'll give it to Talon. Yeah, he played well. Um, we went to 821. It's not bad. Plus 16, so we're up to 59 LP. And then damage-wise, dealing 7.3. Lulu only dealt 3k. Like, yeah, she literally... And I will say, for an, a Lulu who can do damage, she did, like, none. Like, it was very weird that she just wouldn't... She wasn't even using, really, Q in lane phase, if you notice, by the way. Like, she wasn't using anything. Um, but overall, pretty nice. Obviously, damage-wise for us, across the board, just way higher than the enemy team. They just had a Draven. Pretty bad performance by the Kale. She, she was basically late-game Kale by this stage of the game, and... She was always ulting the Draven and protecting the Draven while instead of trying to carry herself. And then obviously the Xerath is always going to have high damage because he's a poke champion. But he had a bit of an iffy game himself and so did Zaya. Never pressed ultimate. I don't know. But we'll take it. It's a good win. Starts the day off. Um, but yeah, thank you very much everyone. If you did enjoy, please do throw a like on it. Th um, throw a comment. Just let me know how you're doing. That, that is the question I want to ask the audience. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you have not. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Cool down!